Hello and how are you? My name is Mohindo Mubarak and welcome you to our 15th lecture of creating a complete marketplace platform. So we have, okay, we stopped at lecture 14. Now we're proceeding to lecture 15. So I'll go ahead and start our timer. As you know, always do 40 minutes. And I'll start our timer and go straight into today's business. So in the previous lecture, remember we were creating the homepage. This is how our homepage was looking like. Uh, however, we say that we shall put the other business logic later. And uh, that's literally how our homepage was looking like. So we had here our categories. So let's say that we're going to proceed. And now that put and put the what and put the product listings like these ones. Okay. So let's go ahead and proceed. <laughs> let's go ahead and proceed uh, to the product listings. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and put uh, top selling products or recently uploaded products. That's the that's going to be our next title. So I'll just simply come and get the the topic that we have. I mean that the, 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 this section that we have for top categories. I'll come and copy it. I I'll come and just copy it. So we'll, we'll have top categories. This one here, this liver sliver list top category so i'll copy it and then come to the list grid i collapse it and then come here and put uh our top categories i mean top i can say recently uploaded or maybe top selling top selling products top selling products like that so it will be there uh only that uh, i feel like uh, it is so much attached on top so let's go to this title widget and give some padding top, All right? Maybe vertical padding, it's already 15. All right, let's surround it with the column. So let's surround it with the column and then uh, put some margin top, I mean, and put some sized uh, height of 10. Size height of 10, so yeah, I think that's fine, yeah because i thought that i felt like it's being attached so much to the previous section let's do that five we can do the same to this one as well sound the column and then put this guy on top here all right so that must say let's go ahead and now put the single i mean the top selling products however we shall also okay well, let's begin with products and then we shall come to the uh to the vendors okay let's begin with product then we shall come to the vendors so what i'm going to do here i'm going to get uh top selling products all right so here top selling items it is a sliver what a sliver grid okay so let's go ahead and do a grid uh silver grid so i'll proceed to our app we we'll have a silver list here where there is a sliver list or we'll have top categories so i'll collapse that guy i'll collapse the top categories i collapse the top categories list and then i collapse this one so next to this next this title where we will have top selling products i'm going to add uh sliver grid all right all right let's let me collapse this guy here next to it in the Custom scroll view. I'm going to add another silver what? Silver grid. So the silver grid, it will of course take delegate, a uh, grid delegate. So let me show you what we put in the grid delegate. So in the grid delegate, you go ahead and put a um, uh, grid delegate widget uh, fixed cross axis account. I mean count, and then you go ahead and put two per column. I mean two per cross axis, and then go ahead and say uh, cross axis spacing to be eight and then go ahead and say main axis spacing to be 10 and then go ahead and say child ratio to be 0 0.6 so that is the one that you're going to use right then you proceed to now the delegate itself so the delegate go ahead and copy this i'm going to show you so come and put the delegate next to the grid delegate so go ahead and put now the delegate itself so this delegate is going to be accepting a uh, product child builder i mean silver child builder sliver child builder that will take the function just like we did the other side that that, that will take a function that accepts a build context and integer okay in the middle of it which is an index 
so in here i'm going to now display a single product so what i'm going to do right now let's first begin by displaying just some dummy uh some dummy product uh for example i can say here i'm going to display maybe uh 30 products like this okay 30 products so here i'll be returning each particular product but you know we've not created a product model however we have stock item model stock item model i want to keep it just for the I want to keep it just for the for the for the shopkeepers or for the for the vendors okay whoever whereby the the product model i want to not keep it for the what for the public users right hope you get me so let's go ahead and create the product model product model will be much more of a stock item okay to be like much more of stock item we can even fetch from the same okay so what I'm going to do, I'm going to duplicate the stock item model and duplicate it and uh, have uh, and, 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 and create a product model like stock item model. I'm going to duplicate it and try to use it to create a what? A product model. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'll go to our models. I'll go to our models. We have uh, some relevant models. So let me go to our models. All right. Let me go to our models. Where is our models? They are here. Our models are here. Go to our models. And then after reaching the models, I'm going to go to where there is uh, this stock item model, right? Stock item model. I'm just going to duplicate it and create a product model. It's just going to be almost the same. So I'll copy it and paste and then come and say uh, product product model product model like this that's our product model right product model i've just duplicated it just copy and paste then i'll come here with the stock item press portal f press alt and enter and say product model okay product model something like that so that's our product model so i've just renamed this uh so remember to remember to do what remember to remember to change uh to change the table name okay so i can come and say products products so you can say products one or products two so it can be a little bit having versions eh? so begin with that by saving product one or oh, products one table so the end point the end point i will going to create a special end point for products okay so let me say uh let's just create products okay products will be the, the end point the main end point all right so without waste much time let's go just straight to the what let's go to the um, web api and create a section for fetching the products so let's go let's do that so uh so we can know that we're done with it at once so i'll come here to the api these are api these are routes okay it's the api so I saw here we overrided, we overrode, overrided the stock item. Stock item, okay. Huh? Override stock. So this is stock items. So Ajax, okay. Um, stock item, okay. It has been fetching from the model. So you can create one for the, for the products, okay. So just simply come here. Um... Let's create one for the product, the endpoint for the product. So I'll just simply come and duplicate this guy. And just simply put products. Okay, so I remove the word API. So you should start to not skip it uh, to come to these uh, automatic APIs, dynamic API, these ones here. So I'll put their products. Okay. Um, product. Let me first see here. The API you had stock item. Let me see. HTTP. All right, yeah, good. So I'll just simply put here products, and then I can put a function here for fetching products logic. All oh, but let's just be organized, and we put here a function fetching products. Okay, so it is there. Products list. I can just maybe product list like this. Okay. So I'll go ahead and press control and click here, so I can go ahead and create these functions. Let me duplicate this guy. Right. I can just duplicate this guy. 
and call this guy product list so we can go ahead and fetch the products okay products going to be like much more of stock item so you can just simply say product be stock item or then we add them here uh the name can be okay you can see so here maybe we are looping so we shall see what we need to loop and modify this okay but well, i'm not going to get all i'm going just to get maybe uh just simply put where and put here an empty and then i put maybe so here you can check maybe the products that have been approved something like that and then i go ahead and put here order by order by id id uh i order by what by id in descending order so i can get the most latest product and i get just only um these are can get only 1000 products <laughs> 1000 can be too many locals to get 500 latest product so we shall be getting 500 latest products and send them to the what the user right get just 500 latest products um we can leave the name to be like the way it is everything to be like the way it is we just push it there all right yeah so we can modify where necessary so there's our product and then i send them back here like this okay so that is our online api or our back end right so let's proceed to now uh, fetching these products and display them in the home page so i'll come here to our products model okay products model i'll come to our api i mean into our http here where we're requesting the products model i mean where we're requesting the 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 products so i'll go ahead and remove this word api because for it's not under those automatic things okay so I put that one so like this we shall be fetching the what the products okay we shall be fetching the products okay so after doing so i'm going to go ahead and uh, put the logic of fetching the products when as soon as someone uh, reaches here we fetch those products and start displaying them so let's go ahead and do that i uh, will go ahead and uh, come here to uh, sorry let's go back now to our home page our home page so we can import our product model now uh let's go on top here and put a list of products okay let's go on top and put a list on product of products so do you have init state init state we don't have it yet let's go ahead and create it but you have do refresh here do refresh do refresh we are calling it only when you're refreshing okay so we can have here our init init what init state I don't know. <laughs> All right. Okay, let's do it like uh, when you refresh, you should get a list of products. It's a list of product model. You can say products equals to that. So we can just simply say list. So we can here maybe show a loader details that. Not put that logic, okay. Can just simply put here a boolean and say uh, is uh, loading. We make it to have uh, to be false, all right. So when you come here, want to do, say set state and say set state, set state, and say is loading to be true. And then at this level, we swear we're going to get uh, the product. So you can just you can just simply say await await uh, product model dot what dot get items all right and then after we set loading to be false so that's where we're going to be getting the categories and the rest we shall be getting from here so is loading is loading you can come and put it uh, alongside the what the custom scroll view custom scroll view custom scroll view you can put alongside this one okay or we can put it alongside this search so if it's loading just simply put center and put circular progress okay circular progress okay so now i come back to this so this is going to be product mode equals to uh, products. It's now there. Now I come here where I would put 30. Let me just put product dot what? The length. 
all right then here we shall be returning the product user interface for now let's just return text and the product uh, name simple save everything should be beautiful everything should be beautiful now let's try to load so you see that our progress bar it's loading over there so i'm expecting some error that's why uh all right everything is not working properly all right so they say that there's a mistake mm -hmm. where the mistake is the where they say we have a, a problem the sql that says um select from products one where order by order by is not specified where it's not specified and order by so there's a problem with our generator by the way we shall look into it later so here we have to specify the where just specify the where or let's come here to the product model and do uh, get items it is here or is it product model get items it is here so we can just simply say by default where is one okay so where should be always one something like that so yeah so let's try to open and try to refresh so it is showing the product you see I have at least one product which is here the word test product all right so let's see let's see let's see let's see now uh, the best we can do here so i come back to section home I come back to where I was, which is this point. So um, let me put here, let me display as well the number of uh, products that have been found. I can say maybe found and then put here um, product length. I want to just see uh, how many products are found. So it was it found only one, uh, only one product. So you can figure why is it showing one product. Yet we have many stock items. Let's go to our database and see if we have many stock items, by the way. So come here and come stock items. Yeah, we have one stock item, I think. That's why it is showing only one product. Let's try to change its photo. Okay. All right, so we have only one stock item. That's why you see, found one product. However, we shall try to generate some dummy content and see how we can come up with uh, better products to begin with for testing, all right? um yep so uh yeah 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 so what else should we do right now i'm going to already have here some good dummy content uh dummy photos i think we can begin with those ones however let's try to come here to sell now uh okay sorry let me come here to my products come this product item edit let me try to and there are some photos select this one to set them that's it uh, tells five photos let's uh, try to manage photos let me make this one the main photo photos up has updated successfully let's go to main products and if you come here to the online the photo is not showing okay we're going to figure all those out you can figure all those out all right so i wanted us to have at least like three or five products however we can just let me see the time we have we still have time we can use five minutes to generate some dummy content okay so you can use that dummy content moving forward let me see should we do that all right so yeah at least you can see that uh, we have one product that is being listed here here okay so we want um yep 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 i don't know whether i should demonstrate the mission generate the dummy content or okay all right, let's generate. I don't know even what to do. <laughs> All right, let's generate the dummy content. Let's generate the dummy content. Okay, so we're going to begin by getting photos.
coming out shine let's use five minutes to generate dummy content So we're going to begin by downloading images very fast. I want to use just five minutes to generate dummy content that I'm going to use for our app. So let's begin by downloading images. Click there. Let me download this. Let me come here to maybe download and create some folder. Say dummy pics and put that one maybe i need just to be renaming them as one two three something like that so this is one become this one save this as two all right come to this save this as three as four as five six just where we want these photos for for demonstration and see how application look like and proceed let's go to another category Seven, seven, eight. Let me not remaining with the remaining with two, nine, just showing you what it takes to come up with something nice. It's not a simple deal. downloading can as well get them from here there's our folder That was nine. Let's call this one ten. Eleven. Let's make let's get fifteen photos. Let's get something different. Uh, tail of thirteen. If 
14. Let's go to the last one. Yeah, that's what it takes to come up with something nice. We have to explore everything. We are on what? 14. 15. This is a plugin. It's called uh, Image Downloader. Image Downloader. You can find it on uh, on Chrome. Chrome extension. It's a Chrome extension. Let's get this one. So this was 15. Let's make this one 16. Yeah, I think that's enough. We can go with those ones. All right. So we, let's proceed. Let's proceed. Uh, we can go with those. Okay. Let's go with those ones. Um, now um, we proceed to. Now we proceed to generating the dummy content. So I'll come to our web portal. Uh, we'll put to there it is and then i come to have been saving that uh, images uh, images have been saved where in public public storage images that's why i've been saving our uh, images so i can just click and click here and say uh, <coughs> reveal in finder all right so these are different images that that we've been using for for testing okay so i'm going to put those images there that whoever that we've just downloaded. All right. So these are the images. I'll come and copy them. One up to one up to what? Let me make this one. One up to 17. So I'll go ahead and say one up to 17. Those are images. Mm -hmm. So I'll go ahead and copy them. After copying them, I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, do what? Copy them. I'm going to go ahead and uh, copy and paste them in this e folder. So I'll come and say, oh, reveal in Finder, and then paste them here. So those are images one up to uh, 17. And it is very good to understand the extension. You should be knowing the extension if you have downloaded .jpg or PNG or WebP. So me have downloaded WebP. So you must be knowing the extension, right? So after knowing the extension, so I'm going to demo to create a dummy what? Dummy content. Uh, so I can go to Ctrl P. Just press Ctrl P and go to bootstrap.php here. It is under app admin. Right? App admin. Then you'll be able to see bootstrap.php. So bootstrap.php is just a file that is always run. Uh, when you're about to do what to start a project, I mean, when the system is about to start, okay. So, in this bootstrap.php, I'm going to begin by creating the images. You know, our images are independent models, okay. So, let's begin by creating our images. So, let me put our project here. Now, I'm going to come here and just simply say die and say time to create images, right? Something like that. So, if I come and save, you'll see that. Die time to create images. Okay, so let me go ahead and first determine what we have for images. So I'll go to our project, and then our database, and then go to where there is a, a market link, this one here, and then go to where there is images, All right? Image models here. So I'll go ahead and copy this top column. Okay, so there we go. So I'll come and paste it here. Paste it here. So I'm going to begin by creating these images, registering them. Okay, so let's go. Let's proceed. Let's proceed. Uh -huh. So I'm going to just simply come and say, maybe I want to loop between. Uh, I want to create maybe, for example, 50 images. Okay, let's say we want to create 50 images from those 17 images. Okay, so I'll just simply come and say 50 images. I mean, so I say four, and then say, uh, I go to zero. I equal to zero. I can say maybe I equal to zero. Okay. 
Okay, now you say I got one. I got two. I equal to one. All right, I got to one. I I got to zero. I is less than. Let's say we're going to make fifty images, fifty images, and then you say I plus plus. So you go ahead and create an image. So just simply say image equals to um, new image model image model so that's our first image then uh so these we give it uh, uh, a name so a name can be a combination of an id or i mean of the index that you own and the id then we give it uh, our local id a local id can also be a combination of that local id with that id and then after uh parent local id so parent local id you can leave it in as null for now okay or we can just leave it there for now and then online parent id you can leave it also we are going to do the logic the way we are going now to get these images and realign them to products so type is going to be product still remember let's see here we used to call it product we're calling it product so type it is what it is product uh -huh. local path so local path is now where we're going to keep the image what the image path so you see like the image name okay like there it is here so again put images then stroke the name right so again just yes, put here local path it's going to be images sorry it's going to be images then stroke the name of the image so i'll just simply come and say local path is got images and then i come and say uh, our images are ranging from from what from um, from zero to uh, from zero I mean from one up to 17 okay so you can just simply come and put here a bracket and then say uh, between uh, so I can say maybe the index divide by so I can say maybe the index plus one plus one and then I get the remainder of 80, of 18. So it will always be, let's say 17. It will always be between that. And then I put dot what? Dot, dot uh, our image is what? WebP, WebP. Right, so that's the name of the image. So let me, let's try to see the kind of links that we're going to get here. So if I come here and die, so if I come and refresh, you'll see that we're getting things like, image stroke one dot web p so that is the very first image so let's try to see if we can find it so we come here to our market link stroke storage stroke this you see the image is there hope you can see that all right so i think that's fine uh we can do we can say thumbnail is the same as is the same as uh, image path something like that all right so what is the online image path Online image path, you can just simply put the same. Online image path can put the same. Online, you can just put the same. Online, um, online uh, thumbnail path, you can put the same. Upload status, it's already uploaded. You can just say uploaded. That doesn't matter here so much. Upload detail status, you can just keep it as empty. All right, so that is it. That is it. So we're going to save our what? Our images, okay? So since we're creating fresh dummy content, I can come and delete everything that is in the what? That is in the um, database of images. So I'll just simply come and say image models and then simply say truncate images. All right, that's, we don't have no more images. All right, so let's go ahead and do this. So we're going to expect like around 50 images uh so if i save and then come and refresh uh there's an issue uh-huh parent id parent id parent id parent id should be now by default can leave it null because it has to be an integer i can just simply say it is one so a product which has an id once has a parent id uh, up uploaded by Uploaded by 
exploded by you can get the person who is logged in it's because at this point you i'm already logged in so i can say auth i can say admin and then say user id something like that i think that's fine now if i refresh i think it should be beautiful good so you can see what i've done you can pause the video and watch carefully what i've done so we are generating dummy content basically this video <laughs> okay so here if you come and refresh the images you'll see that we now have the list of 70 images with their respective paths see so i can just randomly pick an image and then if i come here to a stroke stroke storage stroke that you see the images there beautiful so let me make sure that i don't repeat this process i'll just go ahead and comment it okay so i should not have like 1000 images all right so that's it that's it now let's go ahead and uh, generate now the dummy content for the products okay let's go ahead and generate the dummy content for the product so we begin by coming to stock items table and get the the table of images that you want stock items table stock items table there we go and then go ahead and get this columns all right so after doing so i'll come here and uh, put those columns here put those columns here go ahead and all right so go ahead and loop and create maybe uh generate like 20 <laughs> products so okay, let me just put here say um products products table all right so i'm going to generate 50 uh, let's generate 25 let's generate 30 products okay uh generate 30 dummy products so we're going to make a loop that's going to generate 30 dummy products so just simply say for each i mean four and then say for i got zero let's go ahead and do this step by step let's go ahead and do this step by step let's review everything so i say for i equals to zero i less than uh, 30 i plus plus so new here you know it will have new stock item new stock item like this all right yeah so we go ahead so company we can just select the to the company one uh uploaded by person is logged in uh stock category id uh stock category id we can get here some categories let's get here some categories do we have categories even i think for, uh, we have some stock categories uh stock, stock categories yeah, i think here we have them and uh, let's get stock categories so stock categories are ranging from 1 up to 13 okay so i can say stock categories id stock cards equals uh, okay let's let's just simply come here stock category id we can just simply say random rand between one up to here the there are how many products there are 14 so according to what you already have in your database so i can say between random and up to 14. so after saving stock subcategory id ah, let's just put the same <laughs> we shall figure <laughs> later uh financial year period put one uh product name uh so let's put here some uh dummy dummy product names okay so equals to open here my bracket an array of names so yeah we have got some names here yeah can go with those ones all right can go with those ones uh let's go ahead and uh, do some shuffle so product name is going to be um dollar sign of dummy product name and then put here some random between the number of product name that you have okay so I get the product name and then we do some random 
okay yeah so let me remove this second thing so between minimum and maximum number of product that you have here so we have just got some names here from copilot all right so our time is up uh description uh description can be Maybe you can say description for a certain product and put the product name there. All right. So main image, main image, it can be um, images, then stroke the number of images that we have, just like they already did on top there. Then the barcode, that's optional. We can do it like they already show it here. Uh, SKU, can leave those ones. Image, which is gallery images so this is where we have uh, the logic to do so gallery images we get all the images we get images here which is going to be how should they do it Right, so here in the images, I want to show you can do that. So you know, gallery it is a, a list of what of images, okay? So say put images equals to an empty. So here I'm going to loop from, uh, so I say J from 0 up to 5, I can say maybe up to 6, or up to 5, and then say J. So this is a J, not I. J equal to 0, J is equal to less than 5, the J. Alright, then I go ahead and uh, let's look like um, maybe up to maybe eight images. Alright, so I go ahead and say um, x, or I can say image id equals to say random between, you know, on top there we created how many? We created the 50 images. 50 images if you still remember okay we have 50 images if you still remember our loop on top or is it it have 50 images so i create some random variable between one between zero and 50 50 then i go ahead and get the image mg equals to image dot find if i don't get it if I don't get it, I just continue. If image is null, is not null, I just get that image and I add it in the product. However, this image, I have to change it now. Okay? I have to change its... Uh, uh, yep. So, let's do this images gallery after we have saved the image because you might not be having an ID at this point. Let's cut this. So we cut even the gallery itself. So the price we can do some array and then we do some random at the end. Likewise to selling price, we can do some buying price plus something like that. Okay. So we add, right? I hope you can see that. Quantity. We can just also generate some and then also here we do the same available quantity something like that okay so after doing so after doing so after doing so after doing so we can go ahead and uh, and uh, uh, so get here the local id the local id can remain like local id uh plus this okay so maybe we can do here some random between maybe 1000 and maybe 100,000 something like that okay so yeah that's fine so after you've saved and then the product again by saying product equals to uh stock item and then we say find that product okay so you now have the id of the product now we go ahead and work on the gallery so we go ahead and work on the gallery 
so gallery is going to be we get the images so i go ahead and get the images i just loop through that and then i get the runner between 0 and 50 so i check if the image is not null and then i go ahead and say parent online id to be uh that of a product okay and then also parent local id parent local id parent local id to be that of a current parent of the current parent local id something like that and then i go ahead and save the image and then i go ahead and say images of this product equals to this i just put that one there i add it in the images right so after looping those i go ahead and say now um let me just go ahead and put these images here on top of this so after after doing that sorry after doing after getting the images so this should be outside here all right here i'm adding the images in the images so after it has finished looping i go ahead and say image gallery equals to json encoder and then say images like this and then i go ahead and do what and save so that's how i'll have that what the images so yeah that's it that's that's it so let's go ahead and die with the first product before we proceed and did it here so i save if i come and now and refresh so there's some issue uh truncated column gallery uh it's too long e so how come that our gallery is too long all right let's go ahead and see so we have here we go to products my get link stock item so gallery is supposed to be a json of what of our products and anyway, we don't need to even save it once you have saved the images galleries you might not even save this one as well just leave it there it will be enough the galleries will be automatically fetched in the hook if you still remember that uh if you still remember that if you come to stock item you see that images or gallery get fetched automatically okay let's refresh now everything is beautiful so everything is fine uh so yeah that's fine Maybe that the images let's see if the images are also updated image models let's see here to parent online id you can see it has updated some okay it has updated some see it has updated some all right that is very nice let's go ahead and and track it stock items let's just truncate this and start afresh we clean them and start afresh uh so how shall we get the image shoes images we shall gallery gallery i don't know why it is saying it is too much so you can only put here the let's see how are doing it in the api of stock item Let's come to the API and see why we are creating a, a stock item. Stock item. When you are creating it, 
we get we get what we get images that have same product same uh, local ids stock items like this shall see how we figure that gallery there later so gallery goes to set attributes then you get gallery images at value Okay, so let's finalize this. Uh, so let's finalize this. I'll come to our bootstrap. So here, this one in code. So here, I'm just going to be adding the local path of image of IDs of images so like this. I right, shall figure this in the next video. Okay, so let's go ahead and save the images and save. So, so we don't put this JSON, let's just put like this. Yeah, let's just put images in the gallery like that. No need to put JSON. All right, so and I save. So I save, I refresh. Everything is done. Let me just remove this now. And let's comment this. I'll come to it maybe when we need it again. So let me comment everything here. And that's it. So if I come to our list of products. Uh, we have now 50 products. Our gallery is comprised of image IDs. I don't know why. Let's, instead of putting IDs, let's put the entire image here. Not the image IDs. Right, so let me truncate and do it the last time. It comes here SQL and say truncate. Right, come and refresh. That is too large for gallery column. So we need to uh, make this gallery to be text. I don't know why it is not text. So we come to gallery. Let me just change it straight here. Or is it variable character it's supposed to be text? Well, let's change it. Better change it using migration. Important to have you my important commands. So I'm going to change the gallery. I mean the. So I can just simply come and say, change gallery type in stock items so i go ahead and put here the table is called stock items like this then i run this migration then i go here and come and say uh table gallery it is what it is text I can say long text and make it nullable and say the word change here you see and then I run migration. Yeah, now it should be fine. Now let's go ahead and refresh. Success. And let's go ahead and make sure that you comment this. So you should not do it again. Otherwise, we're going to have a thousand products. So let me comment this. Save. Now you can see that uh, our gallery having some json of what of products images okay that's it for now let's now proceed to our mobile app now if you come and refresh our mobile app you should be able to see that uh, we are going to have many what many products so you see the products have come so in the next lecture we shall work on now presenting these products making sure that they are well presented with their respective graphical images on the app let's do that in the next 
lecture all right the video was long one but i hope it was helpful so make sure that you practice make sure that you're on the same level with me until you have something like this that will actually look nice like this one all right goodbye see you in the next lecture